Listen to these statements and tell me if you notice a pattern. Nick has been incredibly productive this quarter. Susan is a great team player. David could work on his technical expertise. And Michelle is difficult to work with. Did you notice a pattern? It's time we talk about gender bias and how it's affecting your performance data. Did you notice that Nick and David got feedback about their performance, while Susan and Michelle got feedback about their personalities? CultureAmp's very own senior data scientist, Priya, conducted a study on over 25,000 pieces of feedback and found that women are 1.4 times more likely to receive personality-related feedback from their male reviewers. And in general, they're less likely to receive work-related feedback. We can only imagine how this is going to impact the gender pay gap and promotion opportunities. But the good news is there are ways to limit the effects of gender bias in your performance evaluations. Here's one thing to get you started. Ensure that you're giving your managers structured criteria for feedback. A fill in the blanks approach to giving performance evaluations will ensure that your managers are giving the same type of feedback to all of their employees, regardless of their gender. The less structured your criteria, the more room there is for gender bias. Want to run more objective evaluations? CultureAmp can help you reduce bias and run fair performance reviews. Create evaluation templates to ensure consistency across your organization. You can customize your templates to fit the needs of different teams. See how else CultureAmp can help you build a high performance work culture with continuous feedback, goal tracking, and much more. Visit the link in the description to watch a video.